My name is Julie Lee and I run Julie's Kitchen. Food has always been a really important part of my life. Uh, my parents are both immigrants, so food was always a way for them to communicate our cultural past to us. And also I grew up in a really agricultural part of California where we are always surrounded by farms and farmers markets. And so eating really fresh food that was local and seasonal has always been really important to me. And when I moved to LA, um, my world really opened up because just the variety of food available to you was really, really amazing. And also when I studied abroad in France, my food world just changed because there were all these cheeses and wines and sausages that we didn't have access to and it made me really think what what else is there out there that I don't know about that is delicious and from there I started Julie's Kitchen the food blog as a way to challenge myself to find new foods to try and to share because I feel like if this is something I'm discovering for the first time there may be somebody out there who has never seen bitter melon or never, never liked it and if I can present it in a way that is delicious or beautiful they might reconsider. So part of my food collages are to share what's local, what's seasonal and also you know new discoveries, new culinary things to eat and smell and taste and I, I feel like it can appeal to all your senses. In 2007 I started my blog, Julie's Kitchen, as a way to share recipes and share new discoveries and I was working in kitchens at the time. So I was understanding food in a different way and my perspective of food was changing. So as a photographer and being a really visual person, Instagram's always been a really natural way for me to share food instantaneously. And my food collages started out, I would just, you know, come home from the farmer's market and share everybody what I bought for the week. And I thought to myself, well, you know, this is great and I'm, I'm you know, I love sharing what I'm eating for the week and what's local and seasonal in LA, but, you know, I don't feel like I'm doing these fruits and vegetables justice because they're beautiful. You know, their outsides are great, but, you know, sometimes you have a piece of dragon fruit and the inside is really what's stunning. So I wanted to show the inside of the fruit or vegetable, the outside, and kind of show things that maybe were surprising or really, really beautiful and have people think about food as an art form. So today we're going to go through the process of making a Julie's Kitchen food collage. Uh, so today, we, this morning, we went shopping at the farmer's market and afterwards we kind of walked around the neighborhood and foraged and, and picked up little bits of herbs and flowers and leaves and I'll show you how to build a collage from start to finish while keeping your vegetables really vibrant and fresh and delicious looking. And we're going to do this in an all natural way. So there's no, there's no funny like food styling tricks. We're not going to put lipstick on any tomatoes or anything. This is all natural and at the end you can still eat it.